All of my energies are always with looking forward rather than looking back with, with too much pain and, and sorrow. Hi, I'm David Lawrence, currently president of Gloucestershire County Cricket Club. We're here at the M Shed for Black History Month with Mark Elaine, MBE. Hi, I'm Mark Elaine. I'm working for uh, Marble College as head of cricket, Glamorgan, white ball head coach, and Welsh Fire assistant coach. So tell me about your early years in, in England. Yeah, born in Tottenham. My parents, uh, both from Barbados, of Barbados descent, came over separately and met in England. So decided to have a family. I had an elder brother who's four years older. Uh, when I was four years old, uh, back in the early 70s, they decided they wanted to go back to the Caribbean. You came back as 15, and correct me if you're right, that you were involved with Harangay Cricket College. Yeah, the Harangay Cricket College was um, devised under the, the Labour government with Harangay Borough C Council. Mm -hmm. The idea was to, to help young, unemployed people in the borough to have a focus. And it wasn't just for black cricketers, it was for No, everybody. not at all. It was for anyone in the Harangay Borough yeah. that okay. weren't in full-time employment. But my, my brother was the real kind of big hitter at the cricket college. Yeah. He was their captain one of their best players, and um, it was him that took the notice of most of the counties around the circuit. Your brother came down for the tribe of Gloucestershire, and you came down just carrying his bags. Yeah, that's right. Uh, doting little brother, uh, following his, his uh, big brother to, to Bristol. Your brother came down for the trial. Mm. You came down, carried his bags. Mm. You're offered a contract, your brother's not. That's right, so... <laughs> So I things were a little bit frosty for a while. I, I bet say. it was. <laughs> I remember you as an 18 year old, and I remember you scored your first century yeah. for Gloucestershire. And I remember that really well because um, we were on 10 the hooks. I think you were, you were on 99 for a long time, yeah. but you got it, and you were the youngest player to get And I think you still hold the record still today. Maybe the environment helped me to, to settle in quite quickly because we were a high flying side. Uh, I think we were challenging in the championship that year. Yeah, yeah and on the back of a, a, a good year the year before. So it was always a good environment to come into. In the 90s, uh, which I found out afterwards, you know, statistically, I was, you know, one of the best all-rounders in England. You then retired in 2005. Five. Yeah. And an opportunity came up yep. to take the coaching role up. And you were the first black British born coach. I was doing a master's degree at the University of Bath in business, and um, it was my professor at university that said a lot of the, the master's courses about strategic uh, management, this would be a good opportunity to do this for real in practice whilst you're still studying. The ECP report. Mm, yeah. Now, when it came out, I don't think there was any anything in there which I went, wow, this is, yeah. you know, that can't be right. Mm. It was everything I expected, because I obviously was a part of that report when they interviewed mm. me. Yourself? I was part of um, gathering some of the information for the commission. So when the report came out, of course, you're interested to see what other people thought, what people were saying, the conclusions they came up with. You're the, still the only British-born mm. black coach out there. So yeah. what changes would you make and what commitment would you make? For me, the biggest thing is the participation for, for the youngsters. We need to capture young kids at that age to start with. And then, obviously, if they're good enough, they get picked up into development pathways. This needs to be funded, I think, from the governing body just to make sure we capture the best talent. So once you capture those players, I think quite naturally, you'll capture a diverse group. People just need to know it's open to everyone. They're gonna be the future of our game. So, you know, it's not money down the drain, it's money well spent, I think. I think I'm right in saying that is one of the recommendations that, that might happen. I think that's a really good thing. I'm just from a, a kind of high performance mindset mm. where if you want to make a difference, you, you've got to be the one to go out and try and make that difference. So 75 years since Windrush, 46% mm. said they were 
proud to be British and black. How do you feel about that? I'm very proud of who I am personally, um, but I've never really overthought it. Uh, I just hate pigeonholing who I'm meant to be, or, you know, I am who I am, and I, I represent myself, my family, and the place I live. We're here in Bristol. This is where the statue was thrown in the river, Black Lives Matter. How did the Black Lives Matter affect you as an individual? That moment was a, a real big moment in my life. So I had a young mixed race family and it really, I just quite like all the dialogue in and around the reasons why it happened. Not necessarily the act itself, but just the conversations around the whole cultural setup in Bristol. And I thought for the first time, my, my children started to realize how it felt to other people outside of the family and, and it promoted a lot of discussions with their school friends and everything. So I thought it was a really important moment uh, for them and of course for me as well. I've always about what next, what's going to affect the next generation and all of my energies are always with looking forward rather than looking back with with too much pain and, and sorrow. I'm really hopeful that um, things are gonna be there for the better. Well, Mark, it's been a pleasure. You are a role model for a lot, yeah. of, lot of guys out there and a lot of girls. What you've achieved is, is just out of this world and you should be very proud of what you've done.